So in the meantime, our Distinguished Service Award goes to those who have given outstanding service to the organization for many years, if not for decades. And this year, with enormous gratitude, it goes to our general counsel, Brian McPherson. And giving that award will be our board chair, Donna Park. Thank you, Bob. It is my distinct pleasure to present the CGS Distinguished Service Award to Brian McPherson. Brian received a Bachelor in Science from Oregon State University and a Master of Science in Biochemistry from the University of Illinois. He then shifted from science to law and received a JD from American University and a Master's of Law from the London School of Economics. Brian spent his working career as an attorney with the Department of Energy. Brian has been involved with our organization since 1990, back when it was the World Federalist Association. He has served in a number of local and national positions. In the 1990s, Brian was actively involved in our campaign for the International Criminal Court, or ICC. In 1991, he wrote a report encouraging the State Department to work for the creation of an ICC. During our difficult years at CGS, when we were operating without a staff, Brian single-handedly completed our 990 tax forms <laughs> and kept us alive as an active nonprofit. What a, what a thankless job, and we thank you now. Brian is currently a member of the Board of Directors of both the CGS Education Fund and the CGS Action Network. He is serving as our pro bono general counsel for many years now. In this capacity, he gives generously of his time and his expertise. Brian has served as a trustee of the WFA Endowment for many years. He is currently one of the five trustees who oversee this important asset. Brian's a member of the Finance Committee. Often, Brian is, is the one with important knowledge from the past that we need in order to manage some of the more interesting challenges we face. Brian also is the CGS investor par excellence, doing a great job uh, managing the funds of both the endowment as well as CG, the various CGS funds. And finally, Brian and his wife, Pam, have been very generous donors, most recently giving us a grant to use to increase our membership. Brian, thank you for your distinguished service over many years to CGS. You are most deserving of a small token of our appreciation. And I ask that Yamali uh, hold up Brian's award at this time. Uh, just a minute, let me turn the spotlight on the award spotlight there. So uh, I ask, uh, first of all, everyone, please join me in recognizing Brian. And I'll ask Brian to say a few words. You know, it, it's dangerous to ask a uh, World Federalist to say a few words. <laughs> uh, uh, well, thank you, you very much. I, I'm very moved by this honor. I can think of uh, a number of people who are equally, if not even more, deserving of this award, many of whom are, are uh, here today. Uh, who knows what, uh, when I sent a check, when I received a mailing back in 1989, 1990, uh, asking for a contribution to the, an organization I'd never heard of before, uh, it looked like uh, something that I could support, so I sent in a check. A year later, I received an invitation to, to a function by the local Washington DC chapter. And I went there. And then later I found out they had annual meetings that people could attend. And you know, this was not the typical organization that one gives money to where you know, they're happy to get the money, but they don't need to see you uh, anymore. Uh, just as long as you keep those uh, checks flowing. So, and uh, by a quirk, uh, I got knocked out of a bridge tournament. Uh, so I uh, was free for the last day of, of an annual meeting and I went there and the executive director 
stood up and asked for a volunteer to write a report to the uh, State Department on why the US should support an international criminal court. Well, it kind of, all of these things kind of drug me in and uh, uh, step by step, and I've, I've been involved ever since. And I, I support the ideal of world federalism, and I hope I'm wrong, but uh, I'm 74. And even if I live to be 100, I am skeptical as whether that dream will uh, come to uh, fruition uh, in my lifetime. But I think it's important that we keep that dream alive. Nothing will happen if, if, if we stop talking about it. And along the way, we have to do what we can to face the challenges as they arrive, uh, arise uh, here. I mean, we are faced with uh, a climate crisis that could, if we don't do anything, if the world doesn't tackle it in an effective way, could cause more death and more destruction than World War II. And uh, still countries want to or and tend to both beat up on their neighbors or sometimes their own citizens. So, uh, you know, I encourage everybody, younger people to keep the dream alive, but also do what we can in the interim while waiting for a, a, an effective uh, world federation to tackle the challenges that we uh, face uh, day to day. And uh, with that, I will uh, be quiet. <laughs> and thank you again very much. Great. Well, yeah. thank I you wanna... very much, Brian, I for staying involved. Yeah, sorry, go ahead, Bob. No, no problem.